someone struggled all season, hit a grand slam last night. So one through nine, they're looking really strong. Some switches defensively due to the injury earlier tonight to Jessica Iwata, the starting shortstop. Dara Pagadawan is now on at second base, and the second baseman, Yoshikawa, has moved over to short. And the base hit for Buchanan right back up the middle. Hine looked for the upset. Wait, with your backs against the wall. The base hit for Lestraps. Buchanan trying for third, in safely, and Lestraps over to second. Two in scoring position for the Cats. Well, and Beth, as I was saying, your backs are against the wall, so either the nerves get the best of you or the aggressiveness comes out even more. And we see aggressive base running from Carissa Buchanan taking third base on this base hit to right. She was thinking third as soon as she took this lead. One one to Schutzler. Chop to first. Terrific play in the read by Tawaligi who instead of turning and throwing to first, kept coming forward to watch the runner at third and apply the tag. And this is just knowing your situation, knowing what you have to do. Tawali'i making sure she catches the ball first, knowing where the runner's at, and instead of turning her back to throw the runner out, she attacks aggressively to make sure that she gets Schutzler out and does not allow Buchanan to score. Arredondo lifts it out to left. And that one falls in, safe, and a run scores for Arizona. The RBI single for Kaylee Arredondo. That scores Buchanan, Arizona back on top. Two-two to Chambers. Putin Warren with the catch, the runner tagging up from third, and the sacrifice fly for Chambers scores with straps. 3-1 Arizona with two outs, and Bridget Del Ponte. High fly ball, Aguirre in left, side retired. Arredondo. The RBI double, and then Stacy Chambers with the sacrifice fly, and Lestraps did not leave early. Count it, 3-1 Zona. Jenna, the number four hitter, rounds to second. The backhand from Ariola, one down. We'll have at least two softball games for you, maybe three or four, if the if necessaries become necessary. Down to the semifinals and four teams left tomorrow. And Aguirre hit by the pitch on base for the second time tonight. Hawaii is already without Jessica Iwata. Their starting shortstop was injured earlier tonight and has yet to return. Well, I think in this situation, Kenzie Fowler coming in with the screwball and she knows she has to get this pitch off the plate. Aguirre has hit that screwball well in the past, but that's a, a tough place to take one. Oh, if you've ever, who hasn't hit the funny bone? And that's right where it looked like that one hit her. And my arm trying to shake it off. Draws the walk, a couple on board with one out for Hawaii. Sarah Akamine getting ready to go just in case now. The senior from Escondido, California, out there in the Arizona bullpen. Tawali lifts it out to left. Lestraps on the run, catches it in foul territory. Two down. So her running, her base running, and what she's doing in the field is amazing. Well, Holly, she has managed to uh, keep the speed up, has scored a couple of runs tonight, and the wince you just saw on her face was because of what just happened in the pitcher's circle, and that was another illegal pitch. And that allows the Hawaii base runners to move over to second and third. You know, it continues to be a problem for Kenzie Fowler. This pivot foot unable to drag it on the ground. Instead, it leaps off of the ground. And you can see that that's a good three or four inches. Reaches the screen on the foul ball. 
Well, you've certainly got to believe now, Jessica, that the fatigue will only make that foot drag even more difficult for her to focus on and to keep it down. Especially in this situation where another illegal pitch with a runner on third would bring a run home. Well, and really for Kenzie Fowler, she, she's pitching illegally almost every pitch, and she's just trying right now to just stay with her game and not really focus on her foot. Rams able to fight it off. They'd love to get to their number nine hitter. You don't say that yeah, for every team, say. but for Hawaii, <laughs> hey, let her rip. Tracy Yoshikawa already hit a home run tonight. I don't know if I've ever uttered that phrase at the Women's College World <laughs> Series before. Hawaii brings a new element to the game. <laughs> Called strike three. Yoshikawa will not get to the plate. Two left on base for Hawaii. Through three and a half, Arizona up 3-1. The gutty performance continues for the freshman hurler. The Wildcats leading 3-1. And Hawaii head coach Bob Coolen now with Holly Rowe. Well, I feel somewhat silly saying your run production is down after that home run we just saw, but what concerns you about not getting as many runs as you guys are used to? Well, we, we're just not attacking the ball. We, we're coming in here and we're thinking we're, we're all good, but we're not all good. We're still a little bit behind, uh, quicker pitching, better pitching, and we're just not attacking the ball like we usually do, and we need to make that adjustment. So what do you do to change that specifically? Oh, the hitters just have to go up to the plate thinking they're going to get a hit. They're not going up to the plate thinking they're going to get a hit. They're sort of being protective swings, not offensive swings. How long do you leave Iwata out? Um, we'll see how she feels. I know it's tightening it up, and we'll just go with what we have right now, but I may pinch hit, bring her back in the hit in her position. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome. Could score runs in the Super Regionals in Tuscaloosa last weekend, and now struggling to prove it here at the World Series. They've still got three innings left to work with. Lini Correa, the fly ball in foul territory, and it will drop in between Pugu Warren and Pagaduan. Lini Correa, the sophomore from Carson, California, has uh, been a, a tough season for Lini. She lost her mother in March. Her mom, Charlene, passed away after a heart attack. Lini uh, has uh, been traveling all around with that pin in honor of her mother. She's also got a picture that she keeps in her helmet during games. And the diving grab from Kanani Puhu Warren. The outstanding outfield play continues. This is just a nice piece from Lini, but Pu'u Warren laying out for this and then holding on to it. Because sometimes even just catching the ball isn't the hardest part. Once you hit the ground the way that she does, we've seen a lot of balls fly out, but she squeezes that ball. I'm just loving the outfielders here at the World Series. Dive, drop, and roll from Kanani Poo Warren for the catch in the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. And Beth, we've talked about how these fences are now further back, and not only does that prevent the home run, but it also allows for more plays that we've seen from the outfield. More diving catches, more doubles, more triples, but it just puts more of an emphasis on the outfield because a, a ball like that and long fly balls that we've seen, Lauren Schutzler making a great play in center for Arizona, those balls might leave the park or outfielders might be playing differently. Let's take another look at the web gem. What I love about this is it just takes so much confidence as an outfielder and ball angle. You see it the way she follows that ball as it starts to tail. That ball hits so hard. Credit to Lini Correa being able to, to hit that ball so hard. Normally that's a base hit or a double, but the way that Pu'u Warren able to react and, and read that ball, I can't get enough love in for these outfielders at the College World Series. 